Good morning, y'all. I want to talk about monitoring spirits. What exactly is monitoring spirits and how should you handle it? Monitoring spirits are people that you have cut off from your past, be that your family members, um, old friendships that were toxic, ex-lovers, etc. Yet and still, these people are monitoring your every move. They're orbiting around you. They're cyber stalking you. They're gang stalking you. They create group chats to talk shit about you. Uh, smear campaigns, gossiping. Even though you've cut these people off, these individuals, right now they're tracking your every move on social media. If you still live in the same hometown as them, um, you can best believe they are driving past your house. They know where you hang. They know where you frequent. They know where you work. You're being gang stalked. So monitoring spirits are just basically people that you have cut off from your life that are continuously monitoring your every move. It is demonic. It is very cringy. It is very creepy because I, for one, I don't believe in stalking or monitoring anyone that I don't fucking like. If I don't like you, I don't fuck with you. Why would I want to keep track of your, your life and your social media? Make it make sense. I want to quote Bible scripture right now. Um, the book of Mark chapter six, verse four. Hear me when I tell you this, because this is Bible scripture. It is law and you can, you know, connect it with your situation right now. The book of Mark chapter six, verse four. A prophet is not without honor or respect except in his hometown, amongst his relatives and his friends. Let that marinate for a second, then I'm gonna get into it. Jesus said, a prophet is not without honor or respect except in his hometown amongst his relative and friends, which translates to you being a prophet, you being the chosen one, you being the scapegoat child, you being the, the target amongst your friends and families subjected to bullying, constant uh, gossip. They tear you down. They destroy your character. They assassinate your character. Um, they laugh at you. They mock you. People from your childhood, people from high school, people from college, you know, people you grew up with, your family members being hateful and toxic and, and bully-like. You've been subjected to this all your life and when you make a conscious decision to say i've had enough i'm going to pack up relocate and move to another city and state far away from all of these people so i don't have to be around this energy any longer trust me when i tell you this when you pack up and move and relocate and distance yourself from everyone that tried to tear you down from your past I guarantee you, they will cyber stalk the fuck out of your social media. I don't care how many times you block them. They will just keep creating fake pages and coming back over and over again. They are obsessed with you getting away from their abuse. This is sick, like I said earlier, very sick, demonic, sadistic, um, cringe, nasty behavior, nasty work. Why the fuck would you want to stalk somebody that you tried to destroy? Why would you want to keep up, keep tabs on somebody that you think is weak, crazy? This is the rumors that they spread about you, right? They said you was crazy. They told everybody you was crazy. They told everybody that there's something wrong with you. They told everybody that, that you know, you're evil and you're, you're a liar, cheater. They said all these wicked things about you. So please help me to understand. If you got out here and you spread all these disgusting rumors and lies about me, why the fuck are you stalking me from a fake page? Why the fuck are you keeping tabs on me? Why do you want to keep track of my life? You are a demonic monitoring spirit. You don't have a fucking life. You don't have production in your life. You're unsuccessful because successful people that are productive don't have time to cyber stalk the people that are no longer in their lives. Let me confirm to you all that these people that you've cut off are still watching you because they know in their hearts 
that they're fucking miserable. And every attempt that they made to destroy you, spread gossip about you, assassinate your character, it has failed, miserably failed. Now they got to sit on the sidelines and watch God bless you in their motherfucking faces. That's how it works. Continue to be a prophet. Continue to do God's work. And watch how much he elevates you in the faces of those who try to destroy you. They think they're running shit. They think they have the power to destroy you. And then they got to find out that they got to get in the ring with God. See, you don't have to fight. God's going to get in the boxing ring. He going to box them out. And, and the damage that comes from that is, 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 man, God defeats every time. That's how you got to deal with these people. That's how you know they're not spiritually or morally connected to God. They're spiritually and morally bankrupt. There's people that have, you know, high morals and standards and, and, and they are spiritually connected to God. They would never do this toxic shit. They would never stalk someone, someone uh, or try to tear them down and then stalk them after. That is the work of Satan. Satan's got his minions out here. And that's confirmation that everyone that you cut off from your life, be it family members, be it old friendships, be it those ex-lovers, if they're still cyber stalking you after they, they failed at trying to destroy you, you know that they were sent by Satan to continue to monitor your every move. Who the fuck does that? Why would someone that tried to destroy you be interested in stalking you after? Then they're going to sit up and be fucking mad when you turn out to be blessed. When you come out on top. When you're making triple more money than you was when you was fucking with them. When all these opportunities and blessings are coming to you left and right. And they got to sit there and watch this shit. Every fucking attempt that they made to destroy you and assassinate your character has backfired. Let them watch from the sidelines. You continue to do the work of God. You are a prophet. Read the book of Mark chapter 6 verse 4. It is the people that you grew up with, the people, your family, your, the, your childhood friends, the people of your past that will sit there and fucking hate on you because you had the power to cut them off, move far away from them and elevate in their motherfucking faces. And now they're stalking you. Now they have become monitoring spirits. Monitoring spirits are demonic. Do not look back. Do not reconnect. Do not go back and become friends. Do not allow them into your circle so they can have access to your new blessings. They are in the past for a reason. I hope I have spoke to somebody this morning and blessed you. I'm just a vessel. God is just using me to talk to you. Do not go back to your past. There's nothing good there. I guarantee you though, they're keeping up with everything that you're doing. They have no fucking life. They're miserable. Let them stay there. Be blessed.